Hi, this is Carl from the Guitar Bookshop. Today I'm going to look at how to play slide ukulele, which is available from guitar.com. So slide ukulele is a great way to actually add a bit of spice to ukulele playing. Um, it basically involves basically using a slide. Um, so this is a brass slide. You can also get chrome slides, glass slides, and ceramic slides as well. And each of them have a different tone. But the, the uh, brass slide is quite good. It's a little bit heavier, but it's got a nice kind of resonance on the acoustic instrument as well. So. Um, and we play it on our pinky finger, mainly so we can free up the other fingers so that you can still fret kind of conventional chords as well. So the idea of the, um, the slide is basically put, placing it across the fret marker. So rather than actually between the frets, you're actually placing it right on the fret marker and it's actually right in the centre. So you're cutting the arc in half and that's what you call intonation. So it's really good to have a, an, a great intonation for slide because if you push the slide a bit beyond the fret marker, you get too sharp, and too flat, and then that's kind of perfect right in the middle there. So it's basically playing right on the on the knife edge of the fret marker. Um, you can also do a bit of vibrato as well, a bit of a shaking sound, gives you that nice authentic sort of slide sound as well. So we're gonna play a song um, using the, the slide and using a, a basically what's called a blues train technique. So keeping this, so it's kind of goes like a one, two, three, four. What I'm doing is placing my slide right across the third fret marker. So one, two, It gets you that nice uh, blues train sound, like the Mississippi Delta, um, steam trains and ferries and things like that. So one, two, three, four. So we're gonna play the C like that. One, two, three, four. And you don't need to push the slide down on the on the strings either. You basically just lightly, just lightly rest them on the strings. You don't try and fret like in conventional notes. You don't push down. You basically let the slide just sit really lightly on the strings. It's very, very gentle. Uh, then we're going to do the F chord by sliding from the 3rd fret to the 5th fret. So we're basically going like that. And then making sure we, we cut that slide in half at that fret as well. Keeping that intonation like that. It's called a glissando, the 3rd fret to 5th fret. It's called a glissando and you do that on the first beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can also do a G glissando from the 5th fret to 7th fret. So five, seven. One, two, three, four. That's it. And you notice I'm cutting that slide right in half there, right on the marker. So let's do a song then. Uh, I'll play you a song, uh, um, an old classic, uh, Sweet Home Chicago, and I'll show you how this whole thing works. So one. California, sweet home Chicago, and then back to the G. Come on, baby, don't you want to go? Come on, baby, don't you want to go? Back to that land of California. on the G, like a resolution, like a tension chord, that's your turnaround chord, and back to the C, you can even just do a C7 there as well, and that's Sweet Home Chicago. So that's in the um, How to Play Slide Ukulele book. Um, we've also got um, some more train blues ideas in as well. We've also got um, slide scales as well, so if you want to do some uh, improvisation in slide as well. Um, and it also gives you a bit of information on different types of slides and, um, and also different types of positioning as well. So um, that's all at uh, guitar.com. Uh, so I look forward to seeing you at the website. Cheers. Bye.